about Carson Wentz to you? Well, Wentz is the better player than Foles, but I'm not confident enough to say that he is going to be enough to give the Eagles the NFC East Championship. I'm not saying the Eagles aren't going to make the playoffs. I think that's going to be a dogfight. That's not what I'm saying. It will be a dogfight, but the Cowboys are going to win it. They'll win it by one or two games. Are you guys all just completely writing off the Giants? Yeah, Giants have finished 8-8 wow. eight eight at I, best. Look, I'm shocked, Eric. 8-8 eight eight at best. Look, I, I'm not shocked by you, Jake. I'm shocked at Eric. I will tell you this. He's I think, a realistic Giant fan. I give him a ton of credit. I, I, I will tell you this. Obviously, I think the Giants are better than the Redskins. I, I really do. Yes. But wow. I th- Yeah, <laughs> right? But <laughs> I, don't, whiz. I don't know how... I just really don't see much out of this year other than just trying to stay within the race of second place. And I will tell you why. Because I do think that the Cowboys... Third and the, place. No, but I think that the Cowboys and the Eagles are going to be better. That's going to be a dogfight for one of them to be in first. I just don't think the Giants are necessarily right there yet. I told a friend of mine who's a diehard Giant fan who is... Pumped up about Saquon Barkley. I'm like, you know, As listen, you, should be. You're, you made the right choice for now. I still disagree and, and, and think they made the wrong choice for the future. But no, they didn't. Don't, don't expect any... Go into this season and expect nothing more than eight wins. Be happy at eight. Yes, I just be I, happy. I, I really think the Giants can get seven or eight wins. That's not unrealistic to me. I just don't think they'll make the playoffs. They're not making the playoffs. No, I don't think they're making the playoffs. I'm just surprised that you wrote them off so quickly. I'm not really writing them off. He's I realistic. Think, I, I really... Uh, look, I, I wouldn't say I'm writing them off. I just don't think they're as good as the Cowboys or the Eagles. They're not. They they're, can they're get not, there, you're, you're, but they're not listen, even close. I'm, I'm shocked and uh, I give but you But you're pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised at you. The Patriots you. signed James Devlin to a two-year extension worth $3.8 million last year. He had six catches for 38 yards and no touchdowns. Rob Gronkowski, you can rest easy. This guy isn't taking over for you. What do you think of the deal? He's a solid fullback in my mind. When I look at like a typical NFL fullback, made I feel the Pro like, Bowl last year. I yeah, think. he he does everything. Good run blocker. He does everything you want him to do. It's just another. When you look at this contract, it's just another piece that the Patriots are able to keep a guy that you know they've had for a while. And to me, I just look at him. He's like a typical Patriots product. Yeah, like like you just look at him and you just say Patriots. You I mean, it's, have to, you don't even it's need the to same know. thing with Gronkowski. To be honest with you, did you see those reports that he was very close to being traded? Did you see that they almost try and that? traded him? They tried like three days before the draft to try and get up to draft Mayfield. I saw too. Do you believe yeah, that? Yeah, I don't believe that. Nope. I think that was floated by Mayfield's agent. Still, uh, I do think. <laughs> Gronkowski being traded at one point was a possibility, albeit remote. So. Gronkowski, when healthy, is the best tight end in the NFL. It kills me to say it, but I'd love to have a beer with the guy. <laughs> I like Gronkowski. kills me to say it, He's man. He's a frat boy. He is a frat boy. He's a bigger Johnny Manziel, but just like can control himself or he won't and, get he can play. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, and he can play football. <laughs> For the record, you'd have a blast. He is a very fun guy to be around. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, my God. I, this dude was up on a, a dance floor, Ju- Julian Edelman, with uh, screaming Spice Girls at uh, some late night bar. In well, Julian, <laughs> Julian Edelman needs to calm down. And, oh my gosh! Uh, oh my goodness! Crazy. The Texans <laughs> signed Bernardrick McKinney to a five-year extension worth fifty million dollars, according to Pro Football Focus. Last year, he had a seventy-nine point seven overall grade. What are your thoughts on the deal? I like this deal for the Texans a lot. I, I, I like McKinney a lot. I think he's a he's a good player, and he was healthy for all sixteen games last season. But he only started seven, and uh, like throughout the whole season, he had three sacks with sixty two total tackles and one forced fumble. So you know, having only seven starts, it's it, it's good stats. I mean, you don't get a full. 16 games out of him, so obviously you're gonna, you're definitely gonna be he's your starting guy now, and that you gave him that much money. But I, I think he's a good player, and I think you're gonna see a lot of progression from him in the coming years because him's taking over that role, especially without having Brian Cushing there anymore. Well, obviously, and they have Zach Cunningham too, yes. out of Vanderbilt, young mm-hmm. player who I like a lot. Yeah, this deal is an overpay. I agree, but McKinney's yeah. a good player. And you know what? It's the NFL. You need to pay these guys. It doesn't matter if it's an overpay. What's the alternative? You let these guys walk and you have another lousy year. The Texans' window to win is now. I also think he can live up to the deal, too, where, like, as of right now, He's it's got an a lot overpay. Of potential. But I, agree like, with like, you. I feel like it can eventually be like it worked out where it was worth it. Got a lot of potential, McKinney. Mm-hmm. Does anybody know how much is guaranteed on that contract? Uh, I will check for you after I read this next story. Former 49er offensive tackle Keith Fonhorst passed away on Tuesday night at the age of 66. In his 14 years with the team, he won two Super Bowls and made three All-Pro teams and one Pro Bowl. 
What are your memories of him? Well, honestly, it's just a sad story that right after Dwight Clark, another member of those... Yeah, I wrote that down, actually, Dwight yeah, Clark. An, another member of that incredible 49ers team has mm-hmm. unfortunately passed away. He was a great talent, obviously, like you said. Young, too. T- very young. Two times Super 66. Bowl 66. That's, 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 that's very young. young. And that's considered young, you know? just Nick, in answer to your question, McKinney has $21 million guaranteed. It's not that much of an overpay. Because, I that's mean, not that's, that bad, not yeah. a lot, that's it's just not, not a lot of dead cap room. You're it's good. not horrible. Horrible. It's still fifty million's a little more than I'd like to have given him. Uh, Keith Von Hortz was an integral part of those nineteen eighties forty nine er teams. Played with the team for fourteen seasons. There aren't that many players that can say that they've been San Francisco Forty ers for fourteen years. Two Super Bowls, three All Pro teams, one Pro Bowl. Said it before. Very good offensive lineman, and a Niner for life. Yeah, exactly. Actually, had polycystic kidney disease (PKD). Very serious disease. One of my favorite YouTubers, Philip DeFranco, uh, is genetically predisposed to that or has it. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's a serious disease. It really is. So, it's time for another edition of the Wrestling Wrap Up. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Dominic, tell us about the latest wrestling news. Uh, we got Money in the Bank this Sunday. So uh, if you're looking to watch something, uh, it, it's free for new subscribers. They say that all the time, and it's so annoying. They also Do they say, still push the WWE Network for They Olympus say League? it during the pay-per-view. Oh, as gosh. if, like, but if they're saying for new subscribers, how are you supposed to know if you can subscribe if you're not watching it? That's weird. Right? So- but uh, other than that, I sold my WWE stock too early. I'll tell you that. Now the uh, yeah, so now all the pay per view events are going to be four hours. There are four hours now. Is that true? From that, seven to eleven? There are four hours now. Yep. Holy moly! Is that counting the pre show? Uh, I believe so. Okay. So I, it's an I, hour I th- pre show. Look, look I, I, I can't guarantee it. that. It, it it could start at six and have the pre show at six to seven. Oh, but also the pre show doesn't even matter anyways. Like you don't need to watch it. But I mean, this is obviously a big time when it comes to wrestling because with money in the bank you have two contracts because now you obviously have a woman's money in the bank match as well. So you have two contracts. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Do they bang each other with the ladders also? Uh, sure. I mean, technically, they do hit each other with the ladders. I mean, oh, you people have dirty minds. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, guys. Gee whiz. Holy moly. I, I didn't like even hit give me that whack. garbage. I didn't even catch that. I think don't hit or whack is a better like term. <laughs> but whack means, but whack means like you're you're getting off by the mafia, and hit can have a dirty term also. Yeah, oh, yeah gee whiz. In the hole. Oh god, goofy show today. Uh, but either way, either way. So it, it's a you know where it's a big time where a superstar that really hasn't had a championship opportunity to get that world championship, you know, the opportunity like I just said. So it, it's always cool to see uh, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura is happening again, but it's probably going to be the last match. Um, the reason why they made it go so long is to build up some heat because they had Nakamura turn heel, so they had to build up heat for it. Uh, when I look at also you have NXT TakeOver this Saturday as well if you're an NXT fan which if you're a wrestling fan most I likely like you NXT. are I did like NXT when I was into wrestling I did like NXT NXT the older NXT really wasn't that good they didn't do it right back then but no. now it's like it, they create superstars and it, it's so I, un- I watched the first NXT uh, event that they had for the WWE Network I remember that that was really fun. They had uh, Mojo Rawley. Was that his name? Oh, yeah. It's, he's garbage. I don't get hyped. I stay hyped. <sighs> See that? I can still remember it. How about that, good, huh? Good for you. But, <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, you look at NXT. You have all these superstars come from Triple H's booking, and then they go up to Vince and Road Dog, and they ruin them. So Vince needs to go. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Vince needs to go. Triple H needs to take over the company Has now. Has the mind gone for Vince McMahon? Vin, Vin, yeah, no. He, the former broadcaster, Vince McMahon? He, uh, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't do it right anymore. Really? Yeah, no. His creative team is not the best. Triple H needs to take over the whole company, which will eventually happen. Now, Lesnar's still WWE champion, right? Oh yeah, no, he's still WWE Universal champion. Oh, Universal. Excuse me. And he, uh, yeah, he's quite the fighting champ. <clears throat> yes, I know. Yeah, that's, I, that's I, I saw that story. All lies. But I think I saw that story. It, it's yeah, a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a joke. Brock Lesnar is How a joke. How do you not have him drop the belt at WrestleMania? From the little bit I was following. Because, you know, obviously you're a wrestling fan. Because he wasn't going to resign. He wasn't going to resign with the company if he didn't have the belt. So Vince was like, okay, here. And so he's going to have... That's probably, not a bad thing he, that he doesn't resign. I know, I know. But for Vince, he's, yeah, he's he, a big draw. He, so. he fits the mold of what Vince likes. Really big muscle heads. E- exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I mean... 
He'll probably lose it at SummerSlam, which is coming up in August. At the I Barclays thought I Center. saw somewhere that he wasn't even going to wrestle at SummerSlam. No, nah, yeah, I saw that too. But right now, it's just like I think it's just all like rumors that are messing around. He's not fighting until I mean, he's most likely not fighting until SummerSlam. I think he will be fighting at SummerSlam. They can't have him miss one of the big four pay per views. Unbelievable! So, no way. You know, I remember when the Miz was WWE champion. I thought he couldn't get he's any worse. He's a heavy than that. favorite to win the men's money in the bank, and I hope he does again. I thought he couldn't he's get so any worse. It. I thought he couldn't get any worse than the Miz versus Jerry Lawler main eventing a WWE pay per view. Brock Lesnar not even showing up to defend the belt. That's a never. bunch of nonsense. The main title on Raw is the Intercontinental Championship, which you never see. That's a joke. Yeah. So we got about 90 seconds left. It's time for the bottom of the ninth. Dominic, we'll start with you. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go with the Jets. Obviously, we were able to mention football, so I was happy about that. But when it looks at when I look at the Jets right now, I see Sam Darnold is 100 percent going to win this starting job. From I, your mouth to God's ears. I no, I really, I really see it. I, I you see all the like they're going crazy over this guy, and I understand uh, Todd Bowles came out and was like Josh McCown, Teddy Bridgewater, Darnold. That's expected, and I think it will stay that way until at least the preseason. And I, I think they'll make the move. I really do. I hope so. If Darnold can't beat out a 39-year-old Josh McCown and someone who hasn't started a game in two years in the NFL, he shouldn't have been the third overall pick. Eric? All right, so I'm going to stick with football also, but it's not going to be the Giants. It's going to be the Chicago Bears. So they actually just came out with the orange alternate jerseys, and I'm going to show you right now. They kind of I like made, those. They kind of made it look like a throwback in, in a good way, but to me... It you just, know what it looks a little bit like? It looks the a little old bit Broncos like, jersey. I was going to say the old Buccaneers jersey a little bit. I think, ah, I think it's, yeah, maybe a little. I think it's better than the old Buccaneer jerseys. This but, is true, too. But you know what? If Mitch Trubisky can ball out in them, all the power to you. Nick? I just want to point out, I'm going to a weird direction with mine. Oh, no. Washington. <laughs> hold on. In Washington, you have a champion now. You have John Wall, and now you have Juan Soto. Um, things are really, really looking up for that city, sports-wise, for everybody except the Washington Redskins. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, oh, o- Ovechkin, it, it makes me so happy to see how really like how they're just celebrating. They look like, I said this yesterday, they look like a fraternity. They, they're a <laughs> hidden fraternity that's just good at hockey. Did you, so, did you see the kid uh, that, that's with them, the, the kid with Down Syndrome, that he's their, one of their equipment managers? I mean, how excited they were hanging out with him. Yeah. What a great That's awesome. I mean, it's it, they're just they're just classy guys. Just I'm glad for everybody joy. on that team except for Tom Wilson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Whoa. The pure joy out of the Capitals is actually kind of refreshing. So happy Father's Day, Dad. I give you a lot of heat, but I guess I love you. All right. <laughs> Looks like we're bad at time here on Beyond the Game for Dominic Arbolino, Eric Fischetti, and Nick Orenberger. I am Jacob Volk saying that getting fined for being ejected is a tax write-off. 